Hello everyone and welcome to today's YouTube video. So today is a sad day. It's definitely a bit emotional for me. I am packing up this house from this house that I've lived in the last two and a half years with Angela. And it's just been just such a good place to live. And I've really enjoyed, particularly the last couple of years, I've had a really good time. Uh, everything's went well for me. Uh, I just think it's time for a different chapter Something that I've wanted to do for a long, long time. But I've had this idea for over 10 years. 10 years, it's definitely since before I opened the gym, which is about 10 years ago now. And sometimes when it's a big goal like this, like opening your own business, like you know, so many other things, you think, will I ever achieve it? Will it ever happen? Is it just this sideshow in the back of my mind that might never come to fruition? But... I'm lucky enough to be in a position where it's 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 time for me to move on to a new challenge, to something different. It's definitely emotional, it's hard to say goodbye, it's hard to give up on what's been very, very good to me. I'm not running away from problems because you know, I don't have many problems around here. Things have been going well. Uh, I have a lot of opportunities around here. I'm living a good life, I can afford holidays, I can for to basically do what I want and which is what I've done for the last few years I've did what I want I've worked when I wanted I've enjoyed my work I've enjoyed the people I get to work with I've enjoyed the sports coaching it's just sometimes you get to a stage in your life and you think uh, I think I need to change something uh, some people are f have this forced upon them through terrible experiences, maybe illness or losing somebody or things like that. And some people like me are just lucky. They just know that it's time to do things a little different and follow your heart a bit. And my heart is telling me for a long time and I've been putting it off for this year and that year when I was with Gary Moore back eight years ago, nine years ago when I started off with them, I told them that I do two years. I was six years with them, three years in Mirror Gills and I still haven't left yet always had the intention of going traveling the world so who knows i could be back with my tail between my legs after two or three months i like to make things up as i go along so i'll just be taking it in six months at a time and i'll be bringing you along for the journey because i'll be full-time relying on my income as being an online personal trainer and selling online coaching plans i'm going to start this video by giving you a little tour. I don't think I've given YouTube a proper tour of the house. Um, maybe I have in an earlier episode, but I don't think so. And I'm about to leave now. So this is what I've lived in for the last two and a half years and why I loved it so much and why it was just perfectly set up for me to work on my online business, my gym training and my coaching, football coaching. was It was just the perfect base. This is the sitting room. This is no doubt where I've spent the most time in the house. Now it's a little bit dark in here today because it's such a grim day outside, but I'll give you a little tour. Photos on the wall. Chris is looking good. This quote, my sister got a friend for me. And these are my top 10 books. This little book here of my time in Mayo Gales. When we won the county title, very, very special times with family. And then, of course, with the team, obviously, mantelpiece, which looks a little bit crazy. But that is Odessus, David from David and Goliath. If you're into stoicism, you know what that means. Or if you're into cooking, boiling eggs, you'll also know <laughs> what it means. Marcus Aurelius, Spartan Helmet. These are the books I haven't read. These are all the books that I have read. Love this little corner. If you've been an online client of mine, over the past two years, you'll have known this corner quite well. I always sit in that corner. I did all my video editing for Mayo Gales, which is hours and hours and hours every single week. And a lot of video analysis, taking stats. And I did all my online calls, created everything um, that I've put up on social media. It was all done sitting, slouching in that corner there. So the amount of hours I've worked here in the last two, two and a half years is insane. And then through here, a lot of the decorations are Angela's creative touch. It's been a very happy place for the two of us. 
my posters, which I've explained in the documentary. This statue I got in the kitchen where I spent hours cooking every single day. You can see out the window there. We're right in the midst of grim winter Irish weather. It is always difficult. It's difficult for everyone. It's difficult on your mental health. But I've been very, very happy here and very, very, very lucky to live here. Turned on the light so you can see it a bit better. You might think it's the evening time right now, looking at this video. I had to turn on the light because it's so dark. But it is 10 to 3. And easily the grimmest part of living in Ireland is putting up with darkness and greyness like today. But that's if you're looking for something to complain about. Clamaris is a beautiful place to live in general, so I try not to complain too much. This is the bedroom. These houses are so nice. I have my casual t-shirts and my gym gear. Got whites, darks, colors. Shirts, over shirts and t-shirts. The dress room. And I got all my shoes. The designer stuff, my aftershave, my hoodies, my jackets. Last thing, but not least, is some more shoes. So you're probably thinking at this point, what is the point in him showing us all this stuff? Uh, the point is very, very important to me, which is you are not your possessions. Do you know, the things you own end up owning you. That's on the poster I have downstairs. I've always found that quote really, really important because if your car, if your house, if your clothes, if whatever it is, if your possessions, if your things end up causing you so much worry that you're afraid if that anthem will happen to them then they own your emotional state and you can't do things because of your care you can't do things because of your house you can't do things because you're afraid you lose your favorite clothes or whatever else so what am i actually getting at here well what i'm getting at is you are how you make people feel that's the most important thing you are you are your experiences and your actions. No one, when you die, is gonna say he had a lovely car, or he wore lovely clothes, or his house was bigger than everyone else's. Nobody gives a fuck about that stuff, really. How you're gonna be remembered is how you made other people feel and your actions. But your actions essentially make people feel a certain way, for good, for better or for worse. So what I'm gonna do is just pile up all everything I own absolutely everything in a pile and I'm gonna see what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna take with me on my travels what I'm gonna put into storage and you know what I'm gonna throw out or give away I'm not gonna throw out that much at all I'm gonna give plenty away because plenty of it's in good condition but as you can see if maybe if you're 30 years old now or 25 years old and you think I don't actually own anything I don't own that much either I want to spend my money on experiences definitely at this stage of my life so to pile up and let go of so much of the things that i own i'm i think i'm going to feel so much lighter i've always aimed to be weighed down by as little things as possible and to be as free as possible definitely in the last 10 years since i opened the gym i just wanted freedom freedom to work when i wanted freedom to not have any debt or anything holding me back in that regard freedom of heavy responsibilities that are unnecessary because some responsibilities are very very necessary and we need to take ownership of them but so many of the responsibilities and the weights that people have holding them back and holding them down are completely self-inflicted and unnecessary especially debt being an obvious one but so many other things as well we take on responsibility for things that we have no control over and all it does is hold us back so I'm gonna pile up some of my favorite clothes. I'm gonna keep some of my favorite objects. I'm gonna give the rest away. And at 31 years old, all I am is how I make people feel and my actions. How my I can say I'm this, I can say I'm that, but ultimately how people feel about me and whoever I am as a person is my actions, is what I've done. It's not what I own. And that might sound unusual the first time you hear it but the more you think about it it's so freeing it's so freeing it frees you up to do what you love doing and if you do what you love doing and you do it with care and with love and you do it in a way that helps other people then 
you're going to be far better off than just collecting item after item. One of my favorite poems, If by Rudyard Kipling, one of the main lines that stood out for me because I didn't really understand it was, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk them on a turn and pitch and toss and lose and start again at new beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. It's always stood out to me because is that not just being reckless, making one heap of everything you have and just seeing, will it, can you gamble it? But the older I've got, the more that's made sense to me because I think you shouldn't aim to hold on to everything you have because all that's going to do is stress you out. You should aim to be, you know, if, if I lose everything tomorrow, I can start again and who cares? I can start with zero. And that's definitely a mindset I've developed over time. I can start again from zero. I'm not afraid of losing any of my possessions. I'm not afraid of losing my business. I'm afraid of not living the way I want to live or trying to do the things I want to try. So for me right now, it's time to move on to the next chapter. I'm making one heap of everything I've won over the last 10 years, like the poem says, and I'm moving on and trying something new. And I hope that inspires others to do the same. Not because I'm right and not because it all goes perfectly well for me. I know there'll be challenges, but because life is too short not to take a chance on something that captures your imagination, on an opportunity, no matter what that opportunity is, whether it's opening a business or traveling the world or no matter what it is, I want you to jump at this opportunity going into 2023, try something new. Don't be weighed down by past experiences or possessions like I have been in the past. Just go for it. Just try something new, especially if you're not having a good time. But even if you are having a good time, maybe your comfort zone isn't where you belong. Maybe you can offer more to the world if you get out of your comfort zone and you try something different. And that's exactly how I feel right now. I'm going to offer more good to more people by living my most authentic life and trying something completely different for now. I hope that makes sense. Um, I think you'll be able to see the emotion in my video and that I've been thinking about a lot of this stuff for a long, long time. So it's time to clear out all my possessions and see what I'm left with. This is the book I've been reading about cleaning, The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up, Mario Kondo. So this is classic me, if I'm trying to do something, read a book from whoever is meant to be the world's best at it, and try and find out what you can take from that and apply it. So I'm just piling up all my clothes and going through them one by one. And the whole book is very good, but basically if you pick up every single thing that you own, you decide whether it gives you joy or not, whether it makes you happy or not. If it doesn't make you happy, throw it out. If it does make you happy, keep it. It's basically that simple. She says it's obviously very difficult because so many of us own so much more than we need, myself included. And it's hard to throw out stuff if you're sentimentally attached to it. But if it doesn't make you happy anymore, you don't use it, it's time to get rid of it. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna start in here first with shoes. These are all my vests, mainly Nike and Gymshark, but I don't wear a lot of these at all. So time to move them on to someone else. I know someone else is gonna love them. Most of them are in really good condition. Next up is t-shirts and Shorts. Day two of packing. It's a little bit brighter today. Thank God. I can see a little bit better than yesterday. Narrowed all my stuff that I want to keep down to this. What's in front of you there. So it's narrowed down to actually not that much stuff at all. I'd say I could fit this in three, four suitcases. And I still obviously have to clear out a good bit of this. I'm not keeping all of this. But I'm definitely getting rid of all these. In this full bag. Maybe a little bit of that. I find this fascinating. I know a lot of you will not be as interested, but this is basically everything I own. These two bin bags, keeping them full of clothes. This box, keeping that full of clothes. That last box is going to be full of my coats and jackets, which are like some of the favorite items I own. These shoe boxes, my shoes, and then this stuff I'm going to take on my trip to Cape Town now. 
these two bags of stuff are all stuff I'm throwing out now and I'm probably going to cut that down even more. So that's so it's not going to charity just yet, it's actually going to Brendan, Keen, Limo, basically everything I am, uh, apart from my savings, my gym, my car, my crypto investments. Oh yeah, the last thing is my technology, like an Apple Watch, iPad, iPhone, MacBook. So that's basically everything I am. And I'm pretty proud that that's everything I've achieved in terms of ownership up till this age because it's a lot and I have zero debt. I don't owe anyone anything apart from my family and my parents, which is a debt that can never be repaid, particularly to my parents. Hello, it is now 4 a.m. and I'm just about to leave on my travels and I'm back in the gym just taking some dumbbells and a kettlebell and a few little bits and it's very emotional it's very emotional to be leaving this is the last time i'm going to step in 100 percent for quite a while and it's very very emotional i've given this place like everything i could possibly give it for nine and a half years and i've had such a good time and it's just worked out so well so it's very very hard to leave it i'm i'm not leaving 100% or leaving Clamaris or leaving my situation here out of desperation or out of being, things haven't failed. I'm leaving them when it's like literally just after being completed. This gym is literally just completed this year in terms of all the equipment I wanted to put in and how finished it looks. And it's time for just a different challenge and that's been an extremely tough decision but I I just looked at the stuff in the back room there and the things we I had on the wall from five six years ago and just how much of it has just stood the test of time or how much of it I've actually used but I would just urge anyone if they have any type of idea just give it a crack there's no such thing as failure. Literally any experience you get from giving whatever it is you have in your mind a crack is going to stand to you in the real world, even if it doesn't go, you know, even if you don't have your own business at the end of it, you have skills and experiences that you just can't trade in a job that you make for yourself. So just whatever it is, whatever side gig you want to try out, just give it a crack. And it might just end out as well as this place. And like when I look back and think how clueless I was starting this business. And like there's there's very few people watching this who will be thinking of starting a side hustle or who are as clueless as I was starting this place. And it worked out all right. So my advice would be to go for it. And for now, goodbye 100%. It's been... An absolute pleasure.